Saturday and it's like afternoon. We just got back, Kaylee's and I, from a cookie rally for Girl Scouts and I meant to vlog a little but I'm the troop leader so I was busy. But do you notice a different background? <laughs> we bought a house. Well, my husband and his brother went into a partnership and bought a house. It's actually a house right near our house. We are not moving into this house. Us personally aren't moving into this house, um, but we're going to be, I'm gonna be cleaning it and stuff, so I might be vlogging some of that. It's basically the same layout as our house, a little bit smaller, has a different kind of fireplace. It has a very beautiful mantle, I love it. Um, but yeah, it's very, um, if you can see the carpet, it's carpeted and it's a little old fashioned, but it has vaulted ceilings and it has these cool lights at the top, so it's a really, yeah, windows. <laughs> it's a really cute house, but my husband wanted me to come in here because they left, they sold us the house as is. It's a neighbor of ours. We knew him and they left some stuff behind. And um, if you don't know, I collect cookbooks. Well, so did our neighbor apparently. Check these out. These are Southern Living Annual Recipe Cookbooks starting from 1979, my husband says. And it has all the way up to like 2000. Oh, 98. No, 2000 is right 2000. here. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. I didn't even see that one. So there's all of those. And there's other stuff. There's too. like this Natalie Dupree one. Microwave, microwave cooking. cooking. Recipe for prize, prize winning, winning cooks. cooks. And then I have this one. Oh, this is a good one. The Pillsbury Bake Off Cookbook. I've, I've actually online found recipes from this book. Favorite ways with chicken, the holiday cookbook, more microwave cooking. I'm sure we're gonna get rid of some of these microwave That's cooking ones. Remember, these are from back in the day when microwaves first came out. That Look, this is a, a Better Homes thing. and Gardens book, a bread yeah. cookbook. This one I might look through because I do have a bread maker. Um, these are just there's a cooking light cookbook. This one looks. This is from 1994. The Williamsburg cookbook. Baby, no. Jack Kelly's. So Good Meals cookbook. Like most of these are cookbooks. And this is a full table. So they left two of these shelves. And what we're doing is our little library area in our house. Um, we are going to switch the shelves out. And we're gonna bring them in here and we're gonna clean this whole house out and separate it and like set it all up with extra furniture we have in our house. And then just have a yard sale of whatever we decide we're not gonna keep. Right? Yeah. But wrapping paper. Cool. Is it birthday wrapping paper? Yeah, and it's nice. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we, but right now, um, we still have to go so through the whole house. I'll kind of do a little bit of a tour. This is the front hallway, just like my house, basically. Um, <laughs> but the walls are all white here. When we moved in, we our in walls this, were all we different colors. This, house, this will be we're all Joe's tan. room. This would be my room, and this would be mommy and daddy's room. Right, but the rooms are a little smaller, but they're the same setup. They left all of, everything in here oh is left God, behind. They I left a whole. Window. They left a whole bed set. Yeah. I love this window. Because it goes low to the ground, like yes. our living room window. Um, and this is exactly like Kaylee's room. Their closet, there. Um, this is just the same thing we have, except we turned ours into a shelved closet but this is how ours was when we moved in the rooms are just smaller same thing over here this is the master and then the bathrooms are what really dates the house besides the many different color carpets um this is the bathroom it's all wallpapered um to be honest we might remove wallpaper and paint but we are not going to do too much to the house we're just going to clean it up because it's in pretty good condition so um for right now, for who lives here, it's not that big of a deal. We'll just fix it up little by little. But that's the other bathroom, the main bathroom. Yeah. We are just, I mean, and our house had wallpaper when we moved in. That's the dining room. Their dining room, I think, is what makes it, what made me notice the biggest difference in the house size. Because our dining room is much bigger than this. Uh, much longer. But our dining room had chair rail and was wallpapered, and we cleaned that up. There's the bay window. Same layout, just a little smaller. And here is the kitchen, and they left a ton of stuff behind. Um, I guess the light in here is not working. But there's stuff that I'm obviously going to keep. Um, <clears throat> there's some dishes. There's some really cute stuff, but some of the stuff we'll be selling. This is beautiful. I will keep that. 
Um, and then there's some lamps and stuff. But there is still stuff in some of the drawers, some of the cabinets. Um, just everywhere. So they have stuff on the wall. They did leave us the fridge, the stove, the dishwasher. And then they left the washer and dryer and the garage is out there. My husband's car is out there. There's a bun warmer up there. An electric bun warmer. <laughs> they have some seasonings that we probably have to throw out. They had a um, can opener there. So, baby, no, we're not taking stuff from the house now. I like their, the way that they have cabinets next to the dishwasher on both sides. It's different. Joey, don't touch that. So yeah, so this is the house that we, I say we, but I really mean my husband and his brother, but it's we because my, my husband and I are one. So we bought, but you can see the carpet definitely needs cleaned. Um, we're going to have a place come out and do that. But otherwise, it's in good condition. I, I don't think we'll be doing much to it. Just basically giving it a nice good cleanup and then somebody will be moving in. I don't know. It is what time? 10? 10 oh seven, right? Right. You gonna film me bootleg Sandy? I'm filming you right now. You're talking, you're telling us. So we found out we don't have sandpaper, but this is what we're doing. There's our old shelves. It's kinda dark. And these are our new shelves, aren't they pretty? <laughs> are you okay? Yeah, I just got attacked by exactly. So that's where our command center used to be. We're going to probably put it in the front hallway now. And he's, what do you call it? I'm bootleg sanding. I'm bootleg sanding because we don't have sandpaper. And I'm sitting on the couch because I'm... you insist on this being done tonight. It, well, it needs to. And I'm exhausted. But... I did like so much exciting stuff today and I totally didn't vlog any of it. So Horrible YouTuber. Yeah, I've been failing. I've been... Just, Fail. It's been bad. So we went to the <laughs> we went to the um, Scholastic Warehouse for the um, they had like a warehouse sale where everything was like from twenty to fifty percent off, and we spent a lot of money. But we love books around here. The kids love books, so it's going to be great, and we can spread it along a lot of gifts, a lot of holidays. So. We're made there. We did good. And then um, we stopped at GameStop to look at some stuff. And then um, he's making noise. I don't know why. Then we came home and we moved the second shelf in here, which is why I'm so exhausted because I've been going since really early this morning. And now I'm trying to... Yeah, I had my girl sell stuff, but I talked about that before. Now we're gonna try to I'm gonna try to see if we could set this up as much as possible so that we don't have a lot of work because tomorrow is Costco Day and um it, it's a it's a full day. And then um next weekend we have a busy, busy weekend, so I need to get a lot of stuff done within the next few days. And Tuesday's the 15th, which is always an off day for me. So I'm going to try to make it better this year. I'm going to try to see if I can just suck it up. Um, usually it's hard for me to even get out of bed. Last year, he forced me to go to Target because he was like, you cannot stay home. Um, this year, I know he's going to be working from home. So we'll see. Hopefully we can get a few things done. But um, yeah, I've got so much to do. I've got cookies to bake because we're having a cookie decorating party <clears throat> slash ugly sweater party. But on top of that, I the kids it's like kids last week of school. So I have to get gifts and stuff together for the office staff, the their specials teachers and their teachers. So I'm so behind. I'm usually way ahead of of like the game.
some of their family picture on the back. Yeah, that's the one that they This show. one, right? Show everything you did this year. Okay, what are you doing? Your dad's recording. <laughs> Happy holidays. You want to go, okay? Okay. Can you give me a hug? Okay. I love you. Me too. Why do I bring her this too? Because you already got a card in there. Yeah. You're good. Bye, baby. All right. Love you. Me too. Doesn't she look cute in that shirt? Company. She's always cute. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Hey guys, so I need to apologize. And I know I really don't need to apologize, but I feel like I should apologize. I said I was gonna be doing Vlogmas, and I kind of fell off the wagon for a little while. Um, if you don't know my sister's story, basically it was rolling up on the anniversary of her death and I was having a hard time. I will link a video about it if you're more interested, um, if you're interested in kind of knowing everything. Um, but today is Thursday the 17th. My husband is at a Dad's and Domino's like program type thing they're doing at the school um, with the kids. And I am baking cookies. I am baking um, oatmeal white chocolate craisin cookies because we are having a cookie decorating slash ugly sweater party this Sunday. And Saturday is Kaylee's. Christmas program for dance and just so much is going on and it's already Thursday and I feel like my house is still kind of messy. So today the kids had all their holiday parties at school because they do holiday parties on Thursdays and then Friday is kind of just like a day. They don't even take book bags to school on Fridays. Um, kind of like a cleanup day before Christmas. So um, yes, that's what happened today. I was at the holiday parties basically all day. Um, I did get my bathroom and my bedroom cleaned up and I bathed Melody, but now I am baking these cookies. And then, um, and this week has been crazy because I had to bake snickerdoodle cookies for basically the entire staff at the school um, to give gifts and do teacher gifts and stuff. And it's just been insane, really insane. But I figured I'd pick up the camera now. It is now, oh, let me see what time it is. The oven's preheating, so I can't see it on there. It is now 5.35. Oh, I'm gonna get these cookies scooped onto the baking sheets so I can get them in the oven because I've also got to start dinner soon. Baking, they are just craisins white. They're like a brown sugar cookie with craisins, white chocolate, chips, eggs, flour, oats, and baking powder, and a little bit of salt. And I've got like enough left in here for maybe like one jumbo cookie or two cookies. So I might just pull out a little baking sheet and put them on just so the kids can eat those as a treat after dinner. And I'm gonna throw these in the oven now. So I just put a mat on this like old warped um, pizza sh pizza round that I'm actually getting rid of, but I just put this mat on there and I'm gonna bake these little cookies in the oven too and the kids can have these as a treat after dinner. Okay guys, hold on, let me turn off this water. Here they are when they're done with the first and the second tray. Um, I'm gonna let them cool and then I will transfer them over to a wire rack. I've got a, I bake snickerdoodles. I use this McCormick recipe for snickerdoodles, by the way, it's really old and really tattered. I'm probably gonna, I'm thinking about making myself a recipe binder, so. Um, or like a recipe book in like the ARC system. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. So this will probably, this will definitely be transferred into that once I do that. And I think I'm gonna do them handwritten so that um like i can pass it on to my kids and stuff um right now i just use like an index card holder but 
as you can see, they get really tattered. So yeah, this is my snickerdoodle recipe anyways. Um, these are actually some cookies that I baked, like the snickerdoodles for the school. Um, <clears throat> these were just, these just flattened out a lot, so I didn't give them. Um, and this, this little thing my husband brought home as a surprise one day. So I'm holding all my Christmas um, cookie cutters in it for when I bake my cut out sugar cookies and then the kids have like some treats on top that I've got to put away. But I'm going to let these cool and transfer them to a wire rack. And right now I have water coming to a boil. I'm going to brown that ground beef and then drain it. And I'm going to just make like a beefaroni today. And I've got some Brussels sprouts that I'm going to cook up. Mm -hmm. 